you can draw this and procreate. Remember the colorful landscape that we created together? During this tutorial, we are going to make it even bigger. We are going to create a colorful island. If this doesn't give you happy vibes, then I don't know what will. As always, during this easy procreate tutorial, I will be guiding you through every single step. So you don't need any experience with drawing or with procreate because you will be learning by doing. And once you have reached the end of this tutorial, you will have a result that you you will be proud of and that you will just want to share. Remember, if you're sharing your work on Instagram, then do tag me in the image, not just in the description, because that way I will be able to find your work and then maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these fantastic results from my friends at Patreon. If you have a Procreate tutorial addiction, then that's the place you need to go to keep it under control because over there I have more than a hundred Procreate tutorials and they range from beginner level to more advanced levels. For this tutorial right here, we will be working on a canvas that is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. If you tend to run out of layers real quick because your iPad can't handle a lot of layers, then I would suggest making your canvas a little bit smaller. I have also linked a color palette in the description in case you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using. And we will be using some brushes from my free Procreate brush pack. It's part of my treasure chest. If you don't already have it, then be sure to go to freefromflow.com to get it, it's totally free. All right, so let's get started. Grab your pen or grab your finger and let's do this. First, we are going to change our background color. Let's go to the two little squares here at the top, our layer menu, and then we'll tap background color. And then over here, we will select this first color in the first row, a very light pink. Perhaps you can't even see it in the video. I don't know, but you will probably see it on your own iPad. Then on this first layer, we are going to make a very simple shape. It'll be for our water. For our brush, we are going to use the monoline brush, which is part of the calligraphy brushes. It's already in Procreate. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here, the tenth color in the first row. Then for our brush, we need to turn up the opacity. It needs to be at 100%. And for the size, Let's set it to 20%. And we are going to make a horizontal line. And it should be, well, around here. That's like one third of the height, some, something like that. So we'll make a line. And then hold your pen in place. So it'll be a nice straight line. And then tap one finger on the screen to make sure that your line is perfectly horizontal. Now make sure that it goes all the way from the left to the right, there's no gap. And then you can drag in a color. In case your paint still spills all over your canvas, then you need to adjust your color drop threshold. You can do that by dragging in the color and then moving your pen to the left or the right. So make sure that it doesn't spill all over your canvas. Now we are going to create our first mountain, our simple mountain. We are going to put it on a layer on top of this one. So tap the plus. And then for our color, we are going to use this color over here. It's the sixth color in the first row. And now we are going to create a big bump right in the center of our canvas. So let's start here, make a shape like this. And then you can hold your pen in place. So you get something like this. And then at the bottom, we are going to attach this. And it's okay if it's wobbly, we won't be seeing that later in the process. Now drag in the color to fill your shape. And now we are going to change this shape a little bit. We'll go to the magic wand and then we'll go to liquify over here. And we will set it to push. And I have pressure set to max and distortion and momentum here are set to none. And we can make the brush pretty big, like 65% for instance. And here at the top, we are going to push a little bit. I want to make it a bit more flat. We can also make it a bit higher. I just want that top part to be a bit more rounded, less pointy. So you can just push on the outside or on the inside to gently nudge our little mountain shape. So you should have something like this. Now we are going to make a new layer on top of this one. So we need to go to the two little squares. Then we'll tap the plus. 
Then for the color, we are going to use this color over here, the second color in the first row. And we are going to create a wavy shape over here and then to the right. So we'll start about here. Let me make a wavy shape, then loop around and close it. And then drag in a color to fill the shape. Next, we are going to create some shapes in front of this one. And I want the underside of those shapes to be like perfectly horizontal and crisp. Now to create that, we are going to make use of the selection tool. We'll go to the S shape ribbon and then set it to rectangle and make sure that color fill is turned off. Right now it's turned on, so I need to turn it off, have it set to rectangle. And then we are going to make a rectangular selection. We'll start here then move down until you have something like this covering that mountain. Now we'll go ahead and create a new layer on top of this one. We'll tap the plus. And then for the color, we are going to use this fifth color in the third row. And we are going to make another wavy shape. We'll start here and wave like this and then downward. Then you can drag in the color like this. And then over here, we'll make another shape. It'll be blue. Let's grab this color over here. That's the ninth color in the first row. And we are just going to create a little bump here. It'll be something like this. Then drag in the color. Now, sometimes you might need to adjust the color drop threshold here as well. So just move your pen to the left or the right when you fill your color. Then we are going to create a new layer on top of this one. So we'll tap the plus. And now first, let's grab this color over here. First color in the second row. We are going to create a little bump over here like this. And you can hold your pen in place to make it a nice rounded shape. Then drag in the color. And then another shape, we are going to grab this color, first color in the third row. And we are going to create a bumpy shape over here. We are going to start here and make a bumpy shape like this. Then drag in the color. And then we'll move on for even more shapes. Let's make another layer on top of this one by tapping the plus. And then for the color, we are going to grab this one over here, the sixth color in the second row. First, we'll make a bump over here like this. And then we'll make another one right here. One that's a little bit smaller. Then drag in the color. Now we have some nice shapes over here and we have that nice crisp underside. When you turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon, you see that it's nice and crisp and on one line. Now we'll go back to the layer which has this shape on it. That's layer five over here. We are going to add some extra shapes. Let's go to the color. Let's grab this one over here, the sixth color in the first row. And let's make some bumps in the water. For instance, over here. Then close the shape like this and drag in the color. And then another one over here. Close the shape, drag in the color. Then I want to erase the bottom part. And I want the eraser to be nice and crisp, just like the monoline brush. So we can tap and hold the eraser here and it'll automatically switch to the monoline brush as well. Now we can zoom in a little bit and then we can make a wavy line like this and then erase everything underneath. Then we'll do the same over here. So a nice wavy line and then erase everything. Next, let's create a little beach. We are going to do that on a layer underneath these layers so that our beach won't cover these shapes. So we need to go all the way down to this layer over here, layer one, and then we'll tap the plus for a new layer. And then for the color, we are going to use this color again, that fifth color in the third row. And we are going to make a wavy wobbly shape. We'll start about here. Then we'll wave our way in this direction, then back up 
two here. Then make sure you close the shape behind these. You can't see it, but when you look at the layer, you can. It needs to be closed before you can drag in the color. This is going great. Let's continue adding more shapes to our island. Let's go and tap our mountain layer and tap the plus for a new layer. Then we'll go and grab this color over here, the sixth color in the second row. And we are going to make a green bump over here. We'll start about here, make a shape like this, go down, close it behind those shapes, and then drag in the color. Then we'll make another shape with a different color. We'll use this color over here, fourth color in the first row. And then we'll make a bump here. Round it shape, close it, and then drag in the color. Then let's continue. Let's make another layer underneath this one. So we need to tap our mountain layer again, our blue mountain, and then tap the plus. And then for the color, we will grab this one, 10th color in the first row. And over here, we are just going to make a horizontal line. Tap your finger on the screen to make it a perfectly horizontal line and then make sure you close the shape behind those shapes and then drag in the color. Then we'll go back to that green color, that sixth color in the second row. And we are going to make a nice bump behind this one. Close the shape and drag in the color. Then we'll move on and make another layer underneath this one. So we'll tap this layer again and then tap the plus. And then we are going to grab this color over here, sixth color in the third row. First we'll make a nice big bump over here. You can make a straight line first going up. You can tap one finger on the screen to make sure that it's perfectly vertical. Then a rounded shape and then back down. You might need to tidy it up a little bit. You can spend as much time as you like, of course, on these shapes. And then do make sure that you close the shape before you drag in the color. We'll make another shape over here. Another big bump. Close the shape and drag in the color. Next, we'll grab this color over here, the fifth color in the third row. And we'll make another horizontal line over here. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen and close the shape. Then drag in the color and move on to the next shape. First, tap this layer again, then tap the plus. And then for the color, we are going to use this one over here. Tenth color in the second row. We'll start here and make a bumpy shape like this. Wavy shape, loop around, close it, and then drag in the color. Next up, we'll tap this layer again first, our blue mountain, then tap the plus for a new layer. Then for our color, we are going to grab this one over here, third color in the first row. And we'll make another wavy shape. Wave up and down, back up and down. Then close it and drag in the color. Next, we are going to create two pointy mountains. We are going to do that on a new layer again. So first tap our blue mountain then tap the plus. And then for our color, we are going to use this one over here. First color in the second row. And to make these mountains nice and pointy, we are going to use the selection tool. So we'll go to the S shape ribbon. Then over here, set it to freehand and then turn on color fill. Now we are going to create two triangles. We'll start here, tap and tap over here, tap here, and then close that selection like this. When you tap the little circle, it'll close it and fill it with color. We'll do the same over here, go up, back down, loop around and close it. And then tap the S shape ribbon again to get out of that menu. Now we have quite a lot of shapes, but we are going to create some more. First, let's add some snow to our scene. I want some snow on our blue mountain. So first tap our blue mountain layer, then tap the plus. And to make sure that that snow only ends up on our mountain, we are going to set this layer to clipping mask. So we'll tap it 
and use clipping masks. Now our snow won't go outside of the edges of that mountain. Now for the color, we are going to use this one over here, second color in the third row. And now we are going to make a wavy shape like this. Loop around, close it, and then drag in the color. Now I feel like our mountain is a little bit hidden behind those other shapes. I want to move it up a little bit. And to do that, we can select both of these layers, so the snow and the mountain, by sliding to the right. Then we can go to the Move and Transform tool, the little arrow here. And then you can just, while well, you have your pen on the outside, you can move it upward a little bit. It's growing and growing, and I think this is a nice position. And then just tap the arrow again to get out of here. And of course you can do this with all the shapes. All the shapes are on their own layer, so you can move them around, make some bigger, smaller. That's the joy of being able to work with layers. Now let's move on to those pointy mountains on layer 13 here. Let's make a layer on top of that by tapping the plus and then setting this to layer clipping mask as well. We are going to add snow to these two. Then for the color, we'll use this color, third color in the third row. And we'll use the selection tool again. So go to the S shaped ribbon, have it set to freehand with color fill turned on, zoom in a little bit, and then make some pointy shaped snow. Like this, then loop around and close the selection. We'll do the same over here. So tap, tap, making that pointy shape, loop around and close it. And I'll tap the S shape ribbon again. Now finally, I want some snow on this mountain. So let's go to its layer over here, layer 11. Tap the plus, set this layer to clipping mask as well. And then for the color we'll use, let's go over this one. The seventh color in the third row. And again, we'll make a wavy shape. Loop around, close the shape and then drag in the color. Next, I want to create some trees and we need to make new layers for those as well. Let's go to layer 10 over here with the two big red bumpies and then make a new layer on top of this one. So tap the plus and then for the color, we'll grab this one over here. Seventh, no, eight color in the second row. And then on top of this hill, we are going to make a shape like this and then drag in the color to fill it. And we'll make another shape, but with a different color, we'll grab this color, the seventh color in the second row, and then we'll use the selection tool to make a nice pointy shape. We'll do that over here, make a nice triangle, close it, and then tap the S shape ribbon again. Now for the tree trunk, let's make a new layer on top of this. So let's tap the plus, now for the brush, I want to use the script brush. The script brush gives you thicker lines when you press harder with your pen. And for the color, we are going to grab this one, the ninth color in the second row. The opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 10%. And let's make a tree trunk over here, just a line going up and then some extra lines like this. And then for this tree, we need a simple tree trunk like this. But I don't want it to cover that green of the tree and I don't want it to cover that mountain either. So let's erase those parts. Now to make our erasing really tidy, we are going to make use of selections. First go to this layer, tap it and then use select and make sure you turn off color fill over here. Then we'll grab the eraser then go to the layer menu and go to the layer with the tree trunk. And then you can erase that top part. We're going to do the same with the bottom part. Then we need to go to this layer with the mountain, tap it, use select, then go back to the layer menu, go to the tree trunk layer, grab the eraser, and then erase that part. And then you can turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon. All right, let's move on. Let's make another tree. I want a tree over here as well. Let's go to the layer menu, 
Then let's go to the top layer here, then tap the plus. Then we'll grab that dark green color again, that seven color in the second row, and grab the selection tool, the S shear ribbon, set it to color fill again, and zoom in a little bit. And then over here, we'll make a triangular shape again. Then we need a tree trunk again. But what we can also do is just make that on a layer underneath our tree over here and underneath this hill. So let's go to this layer and tap the plus, then grab that brown color, ninth color in the second row. And then over here, make that tree trunk. Next, I want to create a big toadstool. Let's go to the layer menu. And I want it to be in front of this hill over here, that big green hill. So let's tap the plus. And then for the color, let's grab this one over here, fourth color in the first row. And for our brush, let's go back to the monoline brush. Then over there, let's make a shape like this a very simple toadstool shape. Then drag in a color. And then for the stem, we need a new layer. And we can do that underneath this toadstool layer. So we'll go back to layer eight here, then tap the plus. And then for the color, we'll use this color over here, the seventh color in the third row. And then just make a simple stem shape and drag in the color. Now some final things to add to our little island. I want to add some leaves. As you can see, this is not really a realistic island. It has Super Mario type hills. So we can add some giant leaves as well. For the color of those leaves, I like to use this one over here, the sixth color in the first row. And for the brush, we are going to use the script brush again. Then for the layer on which we should work. First, let's make a layer underneath this hill. So we'll tap this one, layer nine, then we'll tap the plus. And then over here, let's make a big leaf. So a shape like this. Then drag in the color. Make sure that you don't have any gaps. And then we'll make another one over here. So a shape like this. Make sure that the shape is closed, that there are no gaps, and then drag in the color. Then we'll make more leaves on top of this, so we'll make a new layer on top. Let's tap the plus. And then for the color, we'll use this one over here. That's the eight color in the first row. And now let's make a leaf like this. And one over here. And drag in the color. We'll do the same here. And over here. Drag in the color. Make sure you fill any gaps you see. And then I want to create the same shape, same leaves like these over here. So let's go to this layer with the yellow hill and make a new layer on top of that. So tap the plus. And then first let's grab this color again, sixth color in the first row. Then zoom in a little bit, make a leaf shape, fill it, and then make a new layer on top of this one. Tap the plus, grab this color again, eight color in the first row, and then make more leaves just like this drag in the color and if the point the pointy part of your leaf is a little bit wobbly then you can just go to the eraser of course and just tidy that up now finally let's add a tent to our island because who wouldn't want to stay on such a cheerful island? Now to create our tent, we are going to use the symmetry tool. We'll go to the wrench, then to canvas, then turn on drawing guide, and then tap edit drawing guide. Then here at the bottom, you will find symmetry. And that's what we'll use. We can just tap done. 
And now we need to create a new layer on top of this yellow one and on top of the brown mountain layer. So let's check where that is. That's over here. Here we have that yellow. So let's tap the plus and then make sure that symmetry is activated here. So we need to tap this layer and then turn on drawing assist. And now symmetry is activated here. Now for our color, we are going to use this one over here, sixth color in the first row. And we still have, no, we still have the script, but I want to switch to the monoline brush. Then let's zoom in and make a diagonal line like this. You can hold your pen in place to make it nice and straight. Then another line here at the bottom. You can hold your finger on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. And then drag in the color. Now to make that top part nice and pointy, we can go to the eraser and then just go along the edge, hold your pen in place, and then make it nice and crisp like this. Next, we are going to duplicate this layer. We'll slide to the left, then tap duplicate. Then for the color of this one, we are going to switch to the fifth color in the first row and drag it onto the shape. Then go to the move and transform tool, the little arrow. Right now it's set to uniform. Let's make it a little bit smaller by using this handle. And then set it to free form. And then drag this handle again and move it downward until you get something like this. Then tap the arrow to get out of the menu. And we don't need that vertical line anymore, so we can go to the wrench then to canvas and turn off the drawing guide and then tap the wrench again. Now the final shapes we need before we continue moving on to all the textures and patterns are some clouds. And we are going to create those on a separate layer too, of course. Let's go to our sky layer. Well, that's the background. We have our water layer. Let's place these clouds on top of that. Let's tap the plus. And then for the color, we will use this color over here, the first color in the third row. And we are going to create some wavy shapes. Start here, wave your way to the right, make them smaller here, then loop back and close the shape. We'll do the same over here. Loopy loop, wave, then back, then over here. Wave to the right, loop around, and then over here, do the same. Loop around and close it. And then drag the color into the shapes. You can use continue filling and tap inside of the shapes to fill them. Then we are going to make that underside a lot crisper. We'll go to the selection tool, the S shape ribbon, set it to rectangle and turn off color fill. And then make a selection of the bottom parts without going over the top of one of the clouds underneath. So select these bottom parts like this. And then you can either swipe with three fingers on your screen or just go to the layer menu and then tap the layer and use clear. And now we have a nice crisp underside. And now we have all our shapes. It's time for the fun part. It's time to add patterns and textures. We'll start with the patterns. Let's go to this layer first, layer 12. We are going to tap it and turn on alpha lock. So now our lines won't go outside of our shape. For the color, we are going to use this one over here, fourth color in the first row. We still have our monoline brush. And first let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 10%. And now let's make some wavy shapes on this mountain. You can just make random wobbly lines just to add some interest to this, to this hill here. Perhaps a little circle. Then we'll move on to this hill over here, that green one. Where is it? There it is, layer eight here. We'll tap it, turn on alpha lock. And then for our brush, our color, we are going to use this one over here, fourth color in the second row. And then let's make some 
rounded shapes. You can hold your pen in place to make it nice and smooth. And it really doesn't have to be perfect. It's nice if it's a bit wobbly, if it's playful. Now finally, let's add some lines to our beach. Let's go to, where is it? Layer seven over here, tap it, turn on alpha lock. And then for the color, we'll use this one over here. Fourth color in the third row. And then over here, we'll make some wavy lines as well. Just like this. Now let's also add some lines to our leaves. I want to use a different brush for that, one from the Treasure Chest Brush Pack. And we are going to use the Fine Liner Brush. Now for those light leaves, we are going to use this color, sixth color in the first row. Now let's find them in the layers over here. Tap it, use Alpha Lock, and then zoom in. And then first of all, the opacity of the brush is at 100%. Let's set the size to 6%. And now let's just make these lines, these veins for our leaves. Very simple. Now for the other one, for the other ones, just some simple lines is enough. And this one. Then for the darker leaf over here, again, tap alpha lock on the layer. We are going to use a different color. We'll use this one over here. The, what is it? Seven color, first row. And let's add some veins there as well. Then on this one, And then for these leaves, where are they? Over here. Let's start with this one. Tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then go over and add these veins. Now for the next one, this, I can see that drawing assist is turned on here. We don't need that because then we will use symmetry. So tap it, turn off drawing assist, and then for the color, we'll use the sixth color in the first row. And then go over like this. I didn't turn on alpha lock, I see. Let's turn that on. And then go over. And now we'll add some patterns too. Let's start with this layer over here, layer 10. Tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then for our brush, we are going to use the campy brush. And for our color, we'll use this one over here, fifth color in the third row. The opacity of the brush is at 100%, and let's set the size to 3%, or what is it, 4, 4%. And now let's go over here and add that nice pattern. Then for this green one, it's not on this layer. We need to go over here, layer nine. Let's tap that, turn on alpha lock. And this time for the pattern, let's use the signs brush. And for the color, we'll use this one over here, the seventh color in the second row. The opacity of the brush is at 100%. And the size is at 7%. Now let's go over and add these patterns. Let's also use this pattern on this little hill. So let's move up. Let's go to layer six here, tap it, turn on alpha lock, and now let's go over this hill as well. And for this one, I would like to use the Micropio brush. And for the color, we'll use this one over here, fourth color, second row. The opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at 18%. And let's just go over then for that then for that pink hill let's tap it turn on alpha lock 
And for this one, I want to use a pattern that's already in Procreate. Where is it? The textures brush section, and then use the diagonal brush. And after the color, we'll use this one over here. Sorry, mistapped. This color over here, sixth color in the third row. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100%. Well, let's set the size to 40%. And let's just go over and add this nice pattern. Don't lose your pen. And then let's go to this one over here, layer four, tap it, use alpha lock. And for this one, we will use the Victorian brush. And for the color, we'll use this one. The fifth color, no, that's not, that's the wrong color. We need this color, sixth color, also sixth color. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size, let's set that to 45%. And then let's go over and add a little pattern here as well. And finally, let's also add a pattern to the water. Let's go to the water layer over here, layer one, tap it, turn on alpha lock. Let's go back to the treasure chest brush pack. And let's use the science brush. And for the color, we will use this one over here, the eight color in the first row. Now, the opacity is still at 100%. Let's make the size a bit bigger, maybe 20%. Let me check. Yeah, that's nice. Now, with one stroke, without lifting the pen, let's go over the water and add a nice pattern there. But if you want to play around with even more patterns and get effects like this or this, then check out my full pattern brush pack. The Campy, Micropio, and Science brushes are all part of that, but you will find a lot more patterns in there, so you can vary endlessly. And for the final touches of our illustration, we are going to add texture, and we are going to do that with the spackle brush. Let's start at the top for our snow. Let's go to this layer, layer 14, let's tap it, and then use alpha lock. Then we'll start with this color over here, or actually this one, ninth color in the first row, and the opacity of this brush is at 65%, and the size is at 45%, and let's go over this side with rounded motions, adding some texture. Then we are going to switch to this color over here, first color in the third row, and on this side we'll add some light texture. And we'll move on. We'll go to our mountain layer. We'll tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then first we'll grab this color, the eight color in the third row, and we'll use that for this lower area, making rounded motions, filling it with texture, and then we'll switch to this color over here, third color in the third row, and we'll add some light texture here as well on the right side. And we are going to do this for all of the layers. Let's move on. Let's go to these mountain layers. We'll tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then let's grab this color over here, second color in the second row, and add some on the right side for both. And we can go even lighter by grabbing this color over here, 10th color in the first row, and add a little bit on the right side. Then for the snow layer here, tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then grab this color over here, first color in the third row, and add a little bit of a light touch to the right side. It's very subtle, but it's there. And for this one, alpha lock is already turned on. Let's grab this color, fourth color in the first row, and then let's go over this lower area with rounded motions. Now let's also grab this darker color, ninth color in the third row for a little bit more. And then let's move on to this color, first color in the first row for some light touches. Now let's move on. Let's go to this brown layer. Tap it, turn on alpha lock, then for the color, grab this one over here, 
eight color in the third row and add a little bit to this lower area. Then switch to this color, third color in the third row and add that to this side. Then onto the snow, tap the layer, turn on alpha lock, then grab a nice blue, this one over here, 10th color in the first row, and add that to the left side. Now the right side is light enough, so we don't need any light there. Let's move on. Let's go to this layer, alpha lock is already turned on. First, let's grab this color over here, sixth color in the third row, and let's go over this lower area. Then for those hills, first let's grab the ninth color in the third row and go over that lower area and over here as well. A little bit of shadow. And then for the light, we'll grab, let's grab this color, first color in the first row. A little bit over here and on this side, round motions like this. And then let's move on to our tent. Let's go to this layer. Drawing assist is still turned on. We don't need that. So tap it, turn off drawing assist, but do turn on alpha lock. Then for our color, let's grab this one over here. First color in the second row. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's use the selection tool. We'll tap the S shear ribbon, set it to rectangle without color fill and then select the left area like this and tap the brush and go over this area for a little bit of shadow there. Then tap and hold the S shear ribbon and here at the bottom use invert. Then for our color, we'll go to this one over here, the seventh color in the first row, grab the brush and go over this area. and then tap the S shear ribbon to get out of here. All right, continue. We'll move on to these trees. Tap the layer, use alpha lock, and then let's grab this color over here. Fourth color, third row. And let's add a little bit of light on both trees. And for this one, let's also add some shadow. We'll grab this color over here, the seventh color in the second row and then go over the lower area. All right, let's move on. Let's go to this layer. Layer nine, alpha lock is already turned on. Let's first grab this color over here. First color in the third row. Add a little bit of light here. And then for that hill, we'll grab this color, seventh color in the second row. Go over the lower area. And then we'll grab this color over here, first color in the third row, and add a little bit of light. Let's move on to the leaves over here. We have the purple leaves. Let's grab this color over here, third color in the second row. And we'll just add a touch of that light. And then let's also switch to this color, the eighth color in the third row and add a little bit of shadow. Now we'll move on to these leaves. For these, we'll grab this color, sixth color in the first row, and add just a little touch at the base of these leaves. Then next, these hills. Elf lock is already turned on, so let's grab this color over here, seventh color in the second row, and let's go over this lower area. Then we'll switch to this color, first color in the third row. And we'll add light to the top here. Then we'll move on to our mushroom, turn on alpha lock on this layer. And for the color, let's grab this one. Sixth color in the first row for a little touch of purple over here. Then move on to this part, tap the layer, turn on alpha lock, 
and let's use a darker purple. Let's use this one, fifth color in the first row. Add a little bit over here. And then let's switch to this color, first color in the first row for some light at the top here. Then move on to this layer. Alpha lock is already turned on. Let's grab this color over here, ninth color in the third row. And let's go over here. Making rounded motions. And then let's switch to this yellow. Fourth color in the third row. And let's add a little yellow touch here. Rounded motions. Then go even lighter, grab this color, first color in the first row for some final light touches. Then I see we missed this red one that was on this layer. I forgot that. Let's go there. Then let's grab this color over here, fifth color in the first row for the little shadow side. And then we'll switch to the first color in the first row and add some light. Now let's move on. Let's go to these leaves layers. Now this one, layer four, alpha lock is already turned on. We need some color on the water. Let's grab the first color in the third row. Add some over here. Then we'll switch to the yellow here. Fourth color in the third row. Let's go over this hill to also push back the pattern a little bit. And then we'll switch to this red sixth color in the third row and go over the bottom area. All right, then on to the next layer. There we have this leaf. Let's First, grab this color over here, the eighth color in the third row, and add a little bit of shadow, a little bit of dark touch. And then let's switch to this color, the seventh color in the first row, for a slight light touch. Then on to the next leaves. Let's grab this color over here, fifth color in the first row, and add a slight dark touch here. Then on to where are we? This layer. Let's turn on clipping, no not clipping mask, alpha lock. Let's turn on alpha lock and then let's grab this color over here, sixth color in the first row. And let's add a light touch here. Then for the other ones, let's first grab this color, fifth color in the first row for a little dark touch in the lower right. And then for the light touch, let's grab this color. First color in the first row. Let's go over just slightly. And then we'll move on to this layer. Tap it. Well, no, not tap it because we already have alpha lock turned on. And then let's go for this color over here, the seventh color in the second row. And then first we'll add a touch of shadow to the lower right areas, making these rounded motions, slowly building that up. And then let's switch to the first color in the first row again and add that light touch. And for that tree, we have that over here on the top layer. Let's turn on alpha lock and then let's grab the yellow again, fourth color in the third row. And let's add a light touch here. And then finally we need the water. We need to go all the way down to the water layer oh, and the beach layer, of course. Let's start there, the beach layer. Alpha lock is already turned on. Let's grab this color over here, sixth color in the third row. And then let's add a little red touch right over here in the lower right, no lower left. And then we'll move on to the water. Alpha lock is already turned on here as well. 
let's first grab this color over here. The sixth color and the first row. And we'll go over the lower area with these horizontal strokes. So we can create sort of a gradient on our water. So darker over here. And I will switch to a lighter color, this one over here, first color in the first row. And we'll add that to the top. Again, making these horizontal strokes, gently building that up. Just like this. Then finally, for the final, final touch, we are going to add sort of a gradient to our clouds as well. We have them on this layer. And we'll tap that layer and use mask. Now on this layer mask that is attached to our cloud, we can paint with black and that'll mask part of that layer, of the layer with the clouds. So right now we have pure black over here and we are going to use that with the spackle brush and we'll go over the lower areas so that the bottom of the clouds fades a bit with the background, with the pink. So you get a little bit of a gradient here, just over the underside with horizontal strokes over here as well. Just like this. And there you have it, your own colorful island. I hope you have enjoyed following this cheerful tutorial. If you did, then perhaps you want to turn it into a streak and maybe you will want to follow this tutorial next. I would like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your work and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.